Well, apps yes. are huge. Like, I mean, from, from, from what you know, mm -hmm. t tell me, before we talk about okay. this, like, tell, tell, me, tell me a little bit about mobile apps and the way people are interacting with their, with their devices. Right? Okay. So basically, 89% of homeowners last year used a mobile device in their home search. Mm -hmm. 89%, okay? 83% of 18 to 44-year-olds check their phone first thing in the morning before they even brush their teeth. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're attached to these, okay? Actually, actually, I just called somebody in the bathroom and they answered their phone. <laughs> Perfect example. We are attached to these, right? <laughs> we are attached to these, okay? We pick these up over 200 times a day. We're picking this up looking at this over 200 times a day, okay? And last year, um, this, is a, this, uh, this came from the CMHC study, but 23% of consumers, okay, mortgage consumers, use specifically a mobile-related app. Now, why I'm bringing up this number is because when we look at social media year over year, um, from 2013 to 2014, that number doubled in terms of the mortgage, um, the mortgage industry and using social media. So going from 2014 to 2015, that number is gonna explode because these are becoming so much more attached to us and part of our lives. Like I told you this, uh, just quickly, I told you the story when I was coming in today, that a new study came out that these are actually being considered as an extension of us rather than our mobile device. Mm -hmm. So that's just the way that the world is going. We're yeah, attached yeah, yeah. to these, okay? Yeah, yeah. If you, if, you, if you were to take your Apple Watch off, right? you'd have a heart attack. Okay, so we have this, we have our watch, we are attached to technology like this. Mm -hmm. This is definitely part of us, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is the future, okay? And it's part of our daily life, so if you want to be integrated with the future or the now actually is daily lives, mm -hmm. you need to be all over this. Well, well, we got we gotta look at what the customers are doing and then find a way to make sure that we're where they are. Exactly. Like, like, it, it, it's like saying, um, okay, we're gonna advertise in the yellow pages. Well you know what? They twenty years ago the yellow pages were a good place to advertise, but now not so much. Exactly. Right. So, right? so you, you have to identify where customers are and go there to reach them. It's you know they're not looking for you. Eighty they're, they're, they're reaching people right. eighty nine you know, percent use this last year in their home search. So whether we think it's important or not. It's important. It's important. It's mm -hmm. important, mm -hmm. okay? So that's how we're using technology today. Mm -hmm. Any other brokers have any have mortgage app or uh, not that I'm aware of, you, you know any? No. No, no, mm -hmm. no other brokerage across Canada has a mobile app out there mm -hmm. um, that offers it to their agents, mm -hmm. right? And with the, the features that mm -hmm. we have in ours. Mm -hmm. So can I say what my announcement is? Okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Okay, go ahead. Okay, okay. So the big announcement is we've been waiting for this. All of you know that Mopo we have Mopolo, which is your consumer app, the best business card available. But now Mopolo is everywhere. Okay? It's on iOS for Apple. It's in the Google Play Store for Android. And it's in the Amazon Store for BlackBerry. It is everywhere. Yay! <laughs> And not only that, so this is this is obviously this is your customized consumer app, and we'll get into that in a second. But more importantly, this is the best business card you could get. What okay, are, let me, let me, a lot of people are really I shouldn't say they're unfamiliar with, with mobile apps, but they understand mobile apps as they see them and they're on their phone all the time, but they don't know how to use a mobile app in a business application for them. Exactly, right? So how to use a mobile app in a, a mobile app and a business application for you. Basically what this is is that it's branded with you, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure you whenever you're talking to anybody up there, you want to tell them, "Hey, I have a mobile app. Download my app." Okay? We have uh, email communications created for you that pull in all the fields needed. So you just have to hit send. It goes out to your database. It'll tell them how to download your mobile app in three simple steps. Okay? We have um, uh, email signature buttons that are customized for you that you can add into your email signature. So every time you send that out, there'll be a link there for anybody receiving your emails to download your personalized app. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the thing is, is in business, right? You want to be in front of people and you want them to remember you. So everybody thinks I need to get my business card made. I need to get my business card made, right? That's fine. They get their business card made. You get to somebody, and what do they do with it? They either put it in their phone or they get rid of it. It's gone. So you, get, you give somebody your Mopolo app. They have your information 24-7. It's always up to date. They can just click on it get your, to access your, com, um, your contact information with one click. Now think of it. 
we're as Canadians, we're obsessed with the housing market. We're absolutely obsessed with it. I know myself um, and my friends, whenever we're out, we're always talking about mortgages, housing, property values. So when those conversations come up, all you have to do is say, you'll be at, say, hey, look, this is my mobile app. This is my broker. You're always going to be at the top of their mind. You're able to message them on the app. Okay, mm -hmm. it has calculators, everything. I tell you how some of the brokers are already using this thing. Um, every single one of their referral sources has the uh, Mopola. That's how they tell tell them that they got to leave. I mean, the application's already on there. People can just start the app, send it, and you get exactly. notified right away that somebody sent an application. To exactly. Them, right? If they want to know anything about what's going on in the business, it's right right in the app. Right in as the far end. as prospects are concerned, the same sort of thing, same sort of opportunities, right? Yes. And the, the fact that if you're on their phone, that's where they're going. So Is that people are busy, right? People are busy. We're constantly on the move. You have to find a way to get into their lives that makes it easy for them. Mm -hmm. And this is the easiest way, mm -hmm. completely the easiest way. And it's all contro controlled through Mortgage Boss. So everything happens there. And now can I have to share this news. Um, not only are we on all the platforms now, but we added credit applications to Mopolo. Oh, cool, cool. So now when you load up Mopolo, the very first button you're gonna see on it is credit applications. So when you give this out, the users can click credit applications and they can apply for a mortgage or a personal loan right on their phone and it's not a daunting application form where they don't know what the answer is to you know the mm -hmm. debts and liabilities and all that mm -hmm. stuff and assets that they have it asks them a series of user-friendly questions I believe there's only about 11 questions in it and with those questions it's able to feed into the mortgage application that goes right into your mortgage boss account where you get a notification that somebody's either applied for a mortgage or a personal loan. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's exciting. That's huge. That's exciting. That it, is it's, huge. It's, 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 it's innovative. It's different. And, and one of the things I really like that's part of it is, is it, whenever we're dealing with consumers specifically, we deal with them once every three or five years, right? Right. If they have the app, not only are they getting communication from you on a regular basis, which is pretty cool, mm -hmm. but they also have something that uh, we call the inventory tracker, yes. right? Yes. That hopefully they'll remember you more by using something like exactly. that. And that, and that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Whenever I'm, um, whenever I'm, or you're explaining or telling anybody about your app, you want to point out the inventory tracker to them because, like you said, we're in a low frequency business, right? You see them three years, five years, whatever it might be. Um, but you want to point out this inventory tracker because what it is, it allows them to track their personal inventory. Um, around their house or wherever it might be. And this is, can be used for things like warranty, fire, theft. Say you buy a new TV, right? I, I like using this example. You buy a new TV, there's warranty attached. You take a picture of the TV, you take a picture of the receipt, the warranty. So now when an issue comes up with that TV, you can tell your customer, hey, you don't need to go to the accordion file, remember what year you bought it in, pull out the record. All they do is open up your Mopolo app, click on their inventory tracker, they see all the information, they can call, it takes them five minutes and it's fixed. I can, and never, that, I can never put right? I can you never find a warranty or, the, or, or the receipt's faded. I, I, I the can't receipt's even remember, faded. You I can't, can't remember it. the company I bought the thing Right? <laughs> so it's all so you want to highlight this because this is really the hook of the app is that once they start using this inventory tracker, your app is never gonna get deleted off mm -hmm. their phone because they're gonna hold a database of all their personal belongings and they can even click to share that. They can email that list to themselves, they can email it to their spouse, their insurance provider, all of that is built into the mm -hmm. app. So. Hey, hey, Funny story, um, right, a raccoon ripped the trim off our garage door, mm. right? You know, just a little plastic trim off the garage plastic door. Plastic Yeah, and, and, <laughs> and so you can't find this anywhere, and, and for the life of me, I cannot remember the name of the company that installed the garage doors to go buy the trim from. Where the hell was this? Right? Where See, the hell where was, was that five years and, ago? And these are, these are the things that everybody puts on their to-do mm -hmm. list. You know, I need to keep track of this. I need to document this. But you never do it because, again, you're busy. But when you have it built into your phone, this is always attached to you. It takes you two seconds. Open, mm -hmm. click, click, click. Done. Mm -hmm. It's in there. The, the 25 or 50 most important people to have that thing is your referral sources. Mm -hmm. If they want to contact you directly, if those people are realtors or, or accountants or planners or lawyers, whatever it happens to be, they can actually start the, the customer's application right in normal polo. Exactly. And then the second group, every single one of your customers, you, you should say, hey, by the way, you know, thanks for whatever, download my mobile app. Exactly. Right? Right, exactly, sending it out like that. Cool, so coolest thing ever. It's, and ever. and we didn't mention, it's completely free. We didn't even mention that, right? It's completely free. So this is your app. It's in all the stores. 
no charge to you. All part of being a mortgage allowance broker. I think it's awesome. It's amazing. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Fantastic. Nobody else comes close to something like this. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs>